It's interesting, isn't it, that in our Western cultures, we spend a lot of time doing things that engage these midlines, either doing a task-oriented sequential performance or doing spacing out, entertaining, ruminating, worrying, fantasizing. And um, it's really, and then we shift into being in a kind of, okay, I'm gonna be now during my yoga class, or I'm gonna be on a 10 day retreat, or I'm gonna finally be when I retire, or when I'm oh, on the beach this summer for one week out of 52. And rather than weaving together, doing and being in a much more integrated kind of way. Mm -hmm. So I think that's, those are two keys, I think, to thinking about how it would look. Mm -hmm. And for, um, a person in general, I, I think from my own experience, and this has been a real progressive process for me as an extremely on it doer, to be more and more aware of being. Doing cannot be the field of being, but being can be the field of doing. As we stabilize more and more through habit and training and practice, and to some extent, as best we can, can the circumstances in our life, arranging them so that they're not so pressured and driven and task-oriented um, and threatening, which all, all of which activates those doing mode networks because they're adaptively designed. Um, if we were able in everyday life to train more and more in being, that sense of ongoing being is kind of running in the background while in the foreground is doing, and it makes all the difference in the world because then doing doesn't seem so effortful, we don't seem so hijacked, and there's a background knowing that the apparent I engaged in all that doing is actually a fictional character, uh, and uh, not necessarily something to, that one needs to be identified with. Yeah, being as the basis of doing, that's what it would look like. Mm. Yeah, so, the, so being can be sort of a ground in which the, the doing happens. Yeah, and part of what I'm doing in this program, which I think is incredibly interesting, is to reverse engineer back from people who clearly are in all kinds of traditions around the world and, and some seemingly very ordinary, simple people. Wow, how do you do that? How do you be that way? How do you do those things, right? And we're working it backwards. And it's to me exciting to explore the opportunity that, wow, we can learn from them so that as we move through our day, um, it's from this place of being that's the foundation of everything.